Hello everybody, and welcome back. I am the Occasionally Clever Gamer, and we are playing a little bit more Slender, The Arrival, on this most frightening of Fridays. Uh, so, last episode, we were trying to get into this dumb barn, but we ain't got no gas in our car. Oh my goodness, I just realized at the beginning of the cutscene, our car puttered out, so that's why it has no gas. Okay, that does actually work. Anyways, we can't get into this dumb barn, so we've got to find some other way. We need gas for the generator, and I could not figure out where I was supposed to go. Turns out, I, you go into this obvious shed, and look, there's just a door right here. And we, we did it. We won. So I'm super embarrassed about that. Uh, let's just go for a wander through the corn maze. So, in the letter that we read last episode, they were talking about uh, a shed where a bunch of kids were getting together to huff gasoline. Uh, I, of course, commented that huffing gasoline is not a good idea, and you do not want to do that. Cellar, chapel, granary. Let's go to the cellar. I think that's where they were huffing gas. Uh, so, of course, you know, that was a little hint that said, Hey, go get the kids gas. Save them from killing brain cells. Ew. Oh, this is creepy. Oh my goodness, look! See, I can like see perfectly fine down there soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Frig, this. Oh, uh, we're gonna. Oh, we are super gonna die. <laughs> Hello? Well, Frig. Frig, I hate this game. We're gonna get... We're gonna get murdered. Come on! You! Okay. We did just, like, run straight at that kid. Where are you, kid? Gonna find ya. Boom. Frig is this kid. Let's get out of here. Wait. Are we... Oh. We're in a different spot. All we've done is gone to a different spot. Freaking creepy kid down here someplace, and I am going to find him. I am going to wish him a good day. Oh, got it. Screw this. Screw you, kid. Screw you, kid. You kid. Nothing's gonna hold me back here. Nothing. Okay, we're good. Well, that was our time in the creepy cellar. We have. Not died. <gasps> I know, I am just as surprised as everyone else. Oh. We're just gonna keep going. We're taking a shortcut. Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh! Oh, jeez. I, I, like, like, I literally just lost my finger on the keys. There was 100% a kid running through right there. A hundred percent, there was a freaking kid running through right there. Oh, we are so dead. We are so dead. Oh, that scared the bejeebers out of me. What is with this? Because I was like, oh, I'll just cut through the corn phase. That's going to be fun. But no, there's a kid following me. Where is that freaking kid? I can find you, kid. Okay. Well. So, here's the thing. We have gas now, right? Why the heck are we going to fill up this stupid generator? I'm going right for the car. We're going to fill up this car and we're going to get out of here. I don't want to do this flashback no more. I want to do this flashback. That'd be kind of funny because this is supposed to be like a VCR playing it back. What if you actually like, you're going through that creepy house. You found the VCR. You plugged it into the player. It was just some guy like going to a house. Oh, geez, it's haunted. Well, put the gas in the car. We're getting out of here. No, that is not an option. It is not an option. To fill up the car with gas. Well. 
We're going to forget about that. Uh, and I guess we will have to fill up this generator. I'm hoping that inside this granary, there is a flashlight that I can use to blind that kid. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. We're gonna go... Oh my goodness. Right now, out of those shadows, if a flashlight rolled out, I would shut down this game right now. Oh, that's the creepiest thing. Oh. See, this is why I should be a game designer. I would make amazing games that would scare the bejeebers out of you. Oh, we're in some sort of back corral now. Oh man, there's a kid's treehouse. There's always a flashlight in the kid's treehouse. No, no, those kids are... Look at this. Those kids are super athletic. They like go right there and they just jump. Actually, that's not that far a distance. I I'm not going to take it back though. I still think those kids are fairly impressive. Oh, what's this? Back row, Georgia Matheson, Franklin Matheson, Jamia Matheson, middle row, Adia Hayes, Henry Hayes, Elizabeth Matheson, Frederita Matheson. Do any of these guys look like creepy kids? No. None of them look like creepy kids. I don't care. I'm not going to bother reciting all their names. What I am looking for is... Picked up gate key. Cool. Okay, well, we got a gate key. And I don't think there's anything else back here that we're supposed to find. I'll... All I want is a freaking flashlight. Is that really so much to ask for? There's a freaking flashlight. So I can feed off, fight off all the creepers. Oh, wait, there's a note. Aw, oh, man, do I have to actually go all the way back there to get that stupid note? Oh, no, we're good. What is... Oh, it's... They're going for a picnic. Oh, that's kind of nice. I don't... Only Slenderman. It's like a no girls allowed clubhouse in here. Except, in this, it's no regular non-creepy people. Just Slendies. Can I get my gas back out of here? No, I can't. Why did I put so much gas in there? I should have kept some of it for my car. So where are we going now? I'm guessing I'm supposed to go to the chapel. But I really don't want to run through the, uh, through Hoodie Kid field. Was it Hoodie Kid? I think it was Hoodie Kid. Actually, it looks, is there something on that rock? Frig. No. 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 I don't care if there was something on that rock. I'm not going near it. But I think we need to get to that church. Why the frig does it have to be a cornfield? Just low enough for scary children to hide in. Okay, let's go. Bow. Oh, okay, I thought it was... It's cool! <laughs> I don't want to go in. I really, really, really don't want to go in. Okay, jeez. Friggin' jeez willikers. Okay. Okay, everyone. I want you to just sit with me right now. We're just gonna take a deep breath in. Hold it. Okay, that's that's wonderful radio right there. Okay, we're gonna let it out right now. We're just gonna run in. No turning back. Dra oh, jeez. We're doing direct route. There's a hundred percent something chasing me right now. I can hear the footsteps. Yeah, it's following me. It's following me. We're super dead. We are super dead. I don't I don't care about the stupid flashlight. Close the gate! Close the gate! No, don't swing the gates open as wide as you can. Close the freaking gate. 
Oh, frig. Oh, my goodness. CR is a moron. Okay, well, we're gonna look at these graves. We're definitely looking at these graves before we're moving into the church. Somehow the church is creepier. Norman Hayes. Rose Matheson. Georgia Matheson. Oh my goodness, if I had bothered to look at the picture, I would know who's missing. But wait, is that Charlie? No, it's Clarence. Isn't there, isn't Charlie like one of the big names here? Also, how come some of these guys got the in-ground ones, some of them just got the headstones? Usually you only use these in boggy earth, but this stuff is pretty dry. I feel like whoever made this game did not bother to go in-depth into the tombstones as I do. Patrick L. Woods. No clue who he is. Samantha Woods. Sarah Ann Matheson. Why are these guys buried apart from everyone else? That's my question. For some reason, they're just like, Hey, that Harrison guy? I don't like him. Let's bury him away from everyone else. Who buried all these people, also? Because you think, like, isn't this, like, the entire family that's dead? Or the entire three families that are dead? This definitely is, like, a circle where they murdered people. See, all these rocks in a circle? There was definitely some sacrifices going on in here. I'm just, I'm just right now trying to, uh, trying to delay myself from having to go into this church. Just wandering onto a stupid side people that are not in the main cemetery because everyone hated them in sacrificial circles. Tell you what, to further delay, let's go up and look at this thing. This thing looks pretty important. Frida Matheson. May you be blessed for eternity. May you be blessed for eternity. I guess this was like the best person here. All these other guys were just like weak and pathetic. And Frida. Frida was the best person you had ever met. So all the townsfolk. I'm assuming it's townsfolk who came through and buried these guys. All the towns. Wait. For some reason in my head I'm picturing this was just a mass murder. By like Slendy Boy. Slendy Boy came through, killed all these guys. The townsfolk came around and they're like, oh, cool, we gotta bury these folk. Let's bury a bunch of them right here, the ones we don't like over there. And ooh, Frida. Frida, Frida, the best person we ever met, is going up on top of the hill in the pointy hat grave. That or she was a witch. Because that is definitely a witch's hat on top there. Okay, there is no more delaying because very soon we're going to run out of recording time. Let's just get this over with. Hello! Ah! Ah! No! No! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Frig! I'm super dead, aren't I? Ah! I seek only salvation for myself and my family from the demon sent to torment my life. I brought the devil's wrath upon my family. I don't know what accent I'm doing right now. Whatever. I did this. I went searching for this demon. I'm assuming he means slant. Well. Cheeks is Frida. I bought him, brought him into our lives. I invoked his arrival. How could I have been so blind as to manifest such evil? Why could I not let the old legends die? I alone should bear this burden. Why must my grandchildren suffer for my impudence? They will never come home. That archfiend has them now. We all must bear this burden. We must all repent for our ignorance and rid this world of this demon for good. None shall confront this evil ever again. It dies with us. May the fire cleanse our souls and burn our sins. Frida Matheson. Okay, a couple things I want to point out right here. All this lettering up top, this is like super scratchy. It's like kind of, you know, it's not, you can tell it wasn't printed neatly. This is someone who was just trying to do this quick. Then look at that stupid signature. Frida Matheson, she has put... Like, the rest of the letter she wrote in 30 seconds. That signature took her, like, three days to write. No, wait. Is that... She goes into, like, the bank. And like, okay, Frida, we just need you to sign this check. And, oh, for goodness sakes, Frida, not this again. Listen. I took a high school calligraphy class. My signature looks amazing. And she just, like, spends half an hour doing it. Okay, I gotta look up. Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh no. Walter Matheson, may the angels guide you home. 
Wait a second, that was wood burning right there. Did Frida friggin' wood burn her letter? Frida, you got too much time on your hands. Oh, for goodness sakes. <sighs> okay, guys. Here's what's gonna happen. See that staircase right there? We have to go around that staircase to get up top. We're gonna get up top, look down. There's gonna be some, there's gonna be Slendy Boy right here at the entranceway. He's gonna start coming towards us. We're gonna have to jump down, run to the door. I am willing to put, no, it's not gonna be Slendy, it's gonna be the kid. I'm willing to put 26 cents, my entire YouTube lifetime revenue, on the fact there's going to be a creepy child right there. Let's do this. And, oh. Well, now I'm out for 26 cents. Also, where am I supposed to go? I've gone everywhere. I think Are we just locked in here forever now? Uh What? Well, this is awkward. I uh I I don't know what's going on. Maybe I have to play with the baby dolls? Do I have to like, like a secret lever? What's... Oh no, it is. It's the baby doll in the trains and stuff. Took a child's toy. Oh, we're stealing the child's toys. Woo! 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 Let me out here! Let me out here! Let me out here! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Woo! What the frig? What the frig? Where did that go? Ah. Oh. I don't, I don't understand. I literally don't understand what just happened. Freaking trying to get out the door, and it's just like, nothing hit me. It's just out of nowhere, just bloop, and I'm dead. Well. Okay. Please do join me again next time when I try to figure out what the heck just happened. I'm pretty sure I was by the wrong door. I need to grab those toys and then sprint to the front of the church, jump out, and do something with the toys? I don't know. Do I bring them to the sacrificial circle and like burn them? I have no clue. What am I, uh, who knows what I'm supposed to be doing? Okay, well, we're going to take a peek at that next time. Please, of course, do like and subscribe. Like if you like what you see, subscribe if you want to see more. With that, I am going to say goodbye.